Congressman Roger Williams joins us. Um, he's a Republican out of Texas, chairs the House Small Business Committee. Welcome back, Congressman. I want to play a clip from the impeachment hearing uh, first before I even ask you a question from uh, Congressman Mark Green on the Republican side, who chairs that Homeland Security Committee, talking about the secretary and why the Republicans want him out. Here it is. We have a secretary who has, the law is very clear, shall <coughs> detain. It doesn't say create policies to allow for people to immediately be released in the country. It says shall detain. And that was not done. Okay, can you pick up on that, Congressman? Because the Democrats have been saying that there's no crimes here. There's no high crimes or misdemeanors. But uh, what's your view? Well, it doesn't say sh it says shall detain, but it doesn't say shall remain, which is what he looks at. <laughs> the fact of the matter is the Democrats haven't done anything. This has been a problem forever. I was Secretary of State of Texas back in 05 under Governor Perry. I've been going to the border ever since then. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the it, it just continues to get worse and worse and worse. Joe Biden can fix this whole thing. He can authorize the uh, stay in Mexico policy to be um, used again. And that, we've been told, would stop 70 percent of the crossings. So, look, they've done nothing. They've made it a political move. They want to get all these people in here that they think will vote Democratic one day. And uh, what Mayorkas is, uh, is feeling right now is exactly what he's caused. And uh, he has... Uh, not done his job. And uh, I think that uh, the way we're heading is probably the best way to go. All right. So you're in favor of the impeachment. Um, the congressman that's the ranking member on this committee, Betty Thompson, on the Democratic side, puts the argument like this. Here he is today. History will judge what Republicans are doing here today, and it won't be favorably. This impeachment scheme is a dangerous attempt by House Republicans to distort the Constitution and the secretary's record to cover up their inability and unwillingness to work with Democrats for the betterment of our constituents. All right. So the Democrats say history will not yeah. judge you guys uh, in a positive fashion over this. Let me ask you about it this way. You know, we've been covering the situation, the standoff in Texas along the border there, as you know, this Shelby Park and the rest of it. And the Supreme Court came out and ruled the federal government could cut down that a razor wire. But then apparently the state wouldn't let the officials in, wouldn't give them access to do so. Some people said that was a, a violation of the law. So if Mayorkas is in violation, aren't they in violation of the law down there? And would you be in favor of well, something being done about that? No, here's the deal. The, the reason Texas have to do what they're doing is because the federal government is not. The federal government is not defending Texas or Americans from an invasion of the enemy. That's the bottom line. And uh, Benny Thompson, I mean, what he says doesn't even make sense. Uh, the fact of the matter is the reason we're doing this now is because they've ignored it and all of a sudden it becomes an, a, an election gimmick to them. So they want to get all involved. And history is not going to judge us. History is going to show that we tried to try to adhere by the Constitution, tried to adhere by the rule of law. But this administration did not. But Texas, remember this, repeating myself, is fighting for its survival because the federal government has failed their job in defending against an invasion of the enemy. Okay, the other issue here is the border deal, right, which is separate from Mayorkas, but it's all tied together, of course, because it's all about immigration. This so-called border deal that's been being worked on in the Senate, um, supposedly they're pretty close to an agreement, but I know President Trump, the former president's come in and pretty much this week blown this up, it seems, at least. Here's another Democrat and Daniel Goldman at that hearing today referring to that along with Mayorkas. Let's listen. Your own party is sabotaging and undermining this administration's efforts to address the border while you are trying to impeach him by saying that they're not addressing the border. The hypocrisy is the least of it. Your attack on the rule of law and our democracy is the worst of it. Now, how would you respond to that kind of shaping of the argument, given well, that, you know, the Republicans, uh, they could have a deal here, it seems, yeah. if they wanted one, no? Okay. All right. First of all, the rule of law is being thrown away by the Democrats, okay? So that, hold, that holds no water. The truth of the matter is you don't need these hearings. You don't need all this if you just ex rule by the existing laws that we have that work through the years, you see. But again, if they've made an election gimmick, so they're going to try to throw it on us, the, the Republicans. It's not going to work. And uh, but the reason we're here today is because they have ignored it. And uh, there is no rule of law in their world. There is in ours. And Texas, again, is trying to defend itself and keep and, and defend its people. You know, we were talking about this a little bit on the show yesterday. But you, Senator Lankford, who's the head Republican that's negotiating on this bipartisan uh, deal, 
he seems to be getting frustrated. Here's what he said in that interview over the weekend. He says the deal has a lot of the things you guys are looking for. There's no amnesty. There's more border agents. They're increasing detention beds. They're ending catch and release. They're speeding up the asylum screening process. So, are, the, I mean, the thing that I'm having trouble understanding, isn't this a lot of what you wanted? Couldn't you have gotten no. a lot of what you wanted in this deal? And you just it seems like Trump comes in and just blows it up for so he well, can run on it. OK, I'm against it. OK. And Donald Trump coming in or not, it has nothing it has not, nothing affected the, what my, my decision. OK. The fact of the matter is, just take one thing. Why is it uh, OK to give 5000 people a day uh, the authority to break the law for crying out loud? And the next five thousand uh, dollars, five thousand people. It's, well, it's just about this average of people that would be coming in, right? And then they would shut the right. border so down. 5, but, but I guess the other in. side of it is that people say, "Well, you know what? The, now, if you do nothing, they're just going to keep coming at the numbers that Look, they've been coming at, right? And why not okay, just get those listen, things if, we just had on the screen comes if you can get them illegally? That's too many. Okay. Right. If five thousand come across, that's way too many. All right. Look, at, why don't we just go back to the laws that were written to begin with? Why don't we go back to HR two? That all they got to do is agree to that. And it's taken care of, okay? But the fact of the matter is, to put a number in there that's okay to break the law, when you've got thousands and thousands, maybe millions of people standing in line to do it the right way, what are we saying to them? But why do we want 5,000 freebies in here that do not have the best uh, uh, well, of America uh, at, at heart? Why do we want that? Well, and I think I've the point is you could get a little Senate. bit of what you wanted. I mean, our border correspondent was just on there, Ali Bradley. She interviewed somebody, a congressman from uh, from Texas as well, Congressman Gonzalez. And his main point to her was, why not take a down payment on what you want now? And then if you do well in the election, you can get more then. But why, in other words, why, why do nothing when you can get something? It's there for you if you want it. Well, I guess bit. I'm old school. I, yeah. I'm old school. I think you need to do what, what, what the law of the land says to do and send 5,000 freebie people in here every day that... Uh, Many of them are sick. Many of them don't speak uh, speak the language. Many are not coming over here to get a job. They're coming over here to hurt us. They're from China. They're from Russia. They're from Yemen. You name it. And why are these people coming over here? So the fact of the matter is take a little now, take a down payment here. I love all my colleagues. They're smart people. But I've been on that border for a long time. I've been Texas Secretary of State. I've seen this this program before. This is the worst it's ever been. And you can't reward bad behavior in a country. You can't do it in America because you send the wrong message. I want to ask you one other co question, Congressman, a totally separate topic, what's been happening overseas before I let you go, if that's okay. I mean, we've, uh, I've covered these three Americans who were um, were killed in the drone strike, and their names are uh, William Rivers, um, Kennedy Sanders, Brianna Moffat, all Army reservists. The president came out say he, today and said he has a plan to respond to this. We don't know what it is or if it's happened yet or it's going to happen soon. What should, what should he do in your, in your estimation? Well, I think when anybody kills an American service member like that, there needs to be retaliation, military retaliation. We saw it with Reagan. We saw it in many cases with Bush. It gets attention. We saw it with Trump. This guy, I think, what, what's he saying? Don't. I mean, I don't know what that means, but we need it's too late, almost too late now to retaliate, to send a message to the world that don't mess with the United States of America. And I think that uh, these these young three, these three soldiers, it's a tragedy what's happened to them. It should never have happened. We need to be better prepared. So who knows what this guy's going to do? If probably not anything, but he also could do the wrong thing and overreact. But I think we need to send a military response like we have in the past. Do not mess with the United States of America. You, you, you injure or you wound and you kill our soldiers, our young men and women. We retaliate immediately. Okay, Congressman Roger Williams, thank you again, sir. Thank you for coming thank on. You.